Even as the vaccines become available, some might think we can start to ease those restrictions as they're rolled out, but that might not necessarily be the case. As each of us start to roll up our sleeves and get those shots, it's going to take some time before we get back to any kind of normalcy. Get a shot and you're good to go. That's the hope many would have as vaccines eventually start becoming available. Until we have a substantial proportion of the population vaccinated, then yes, definitely all the current protection measures will need to be in place until that happens. The province's most recent modeling suggested 60 to 70 percent of the population needs to be vaccinated before herd immunity takes place. Based on vaccine deliveries and Ontario's new rollout, Numbers show that it's going to be some time before the majority of us have a chance to receive the needed doses, despite the government's push for more. And we're working to triple that capacity pending federal government supply. It's our hope that by the summer, everyone who wants a vaccine will be able to get a vaccine. The need to keep tight measures in place, even as more vaccines are administered, has been laid out by researchers in the U.S., 29 million more will be infected with COVID-19 if current restrictions are lifted below the border over the next couple of months. The study shows that number can be reduced dramatically if rules are strengthened or even stay the same for a longer period of time, according to modeling done by Columbia University. Even as we get vaccines out there and even as people uh, increasingly become protected against COVID-19 through immunization. For now, uh, the best advice is to continue with current practices, to continue with self-protection measures uh, until such time as, one, we have enough of the population vaccinated. Here at home, that means continuing to restrict gatherings, keeping your distance and wearing masks will continue to be the norm, even after you've been inoculated. The idea is that just because you have the vaccine that you know, you're invincible and it doesn't matter is not really the case because you, even if you get the vaccine, you should still be uh, wearing your mask, uh, washing your hands, all those sorts of things because what you're, you know, if you are infected, you don't want to spread it to, to other people. In other words, these vaccines might keep you from getting sick, but there's still a chance of carrying the virus. And if that's the case, despite the restrictions, there's still a chance that you might be able to transmit COVID-19 to other people. A Toronto area war hero taking a giant step to help treat his mental distress, and he's sharing his story 